Hi guys, it's Sophie. So I wanted to do a tag video. I haven't done a tag video in forever, um, but I saw, um, I think it was the Novel Sanctuary. Yeah, the Novel Sanctuary do this tag. This was originally created by Book Buds, um, and I'd never heard of their channel before, um, but this seemed, seemed like a fun little tag. Um, and it's essentially just a way to like do a Q and A type thing, um, but through a tag. So I'm gonna get started. It's a fairly quick one. Um, it could be interesting if there's a question that you're like oh i want to share that do you share your response down below and that'll be really good so the rule for this tag is that whatever you respond it can't be books um so the first question is what is something you own way too much of um this is a really interesting one because i've literally spent the last month clearing my house of stuff i have too much of um at the moment it feels like i don't have too much of too many things um but i think we have more mugs than we need if i'm being realistic but then we have so many less than we used to so we now have enough to fill our whole like mug rack plus one spare um but i only ever use one mug during the day tom however uses a lot so we normally have about three mugs left by the end of the day so technically we could have three less mugs um clothes was something i definitely had too much of and I never really thought I did. I probably had like 60 to 70 items of clothing. I've never really had lots of clothes. Um, and I'm trying to get that down to like 30 total, excluding like pants and socks and stuff. Um, so I feel like I'm trying not to do that, uh, but I definitely have been in that position. I think books now by far are gonna be my largest like per item thing in my house, but I can't say books, so I'm gonna say mugs. Question two is what is something you do for fun that isn't watching books? At the moment, something I'm really enjoying is putting a documentary on and doing some paint by numbers. I find it really quiet and meditative um, and I don't even keep them afterwards, like the finished articles, um, but I really like the process of doing it. I like having a gentle craft to do whilst listening to something or watching something, I just find it helpful to have my body busy and my mind busy. I think I find that so relaxing. Um, so yeah, that's something at the moment I'm really enjoying that isn't books. Question three is what's something that's special or important that lives on your nightstand? Um, so I have like my little like thing next to my bed and then I have a couple shelves above it. So thinking about that as a whole thing, the top shelf is all just plants, which are more like decorative, but they are lovely. My meds live on my second shelf. Um, you guys might know if you've watched the previous videos, I'm coming off them, so they'll be less important, hopefully, knock on wood, by the 5th of December. But I think one thing that's maybe interesting is I have like a little pot full of just a couple nice like self-care things that I try and do before bed um, that's just a treat. So I have my retinol there, which I always put on like just before I go to bed. I find it makes me really greasy after I put it on until I wash it off. Um, I have my favourite hand cream, um, which is a body shop cocoa butter one and I have a little thing of lip balm which my boss actually gave me um, at work my manager um, when we went on this course and she went out I think it's passion fruit and something anyway it's just it's like the best lip, lip balm I've ever had it's so like thin and I know that sounds weird like you know like Vaseline consistency can be quite like heavy it's really thin but it just feels really moisturizing um, so at night like probably like every other night, every third night, I'll sit there and do those three things that just feel nice and just for me. Um, and I find that really, really special. Like it feels, it feels really important to have those couple bits of self-care right by my bed. Question four is what do you buy at a bookstore that isn't books? Um, I have to be honest, I really don't buy a lot of bookshops that isn't books. Probably the thing I would buy most is tote bags. Um, I love tote bags. <laughs> We have um, a bag of bags that hangs up in like a little junk cupboard. And um, I would say all but maybe like two of bookshop tote bags rather than um, like supermarket ones. Um, I just love them, they make me happy, but we use them as our reusable bags all the time. I maybe have too many of them, um, but there's certainly our shopping trips where we use all of them. I think, but yeah, I love them. Question five is what is a gift you've received that was important to you that wasn't books or like a book gift card? One of my favorite things, I'm gonna fetch it. So one of my favorite things is this scarf. Um, it has like different panels of color. Um, so you can kind of see there's like 
a really bright red, there's navy, there's like some cream, um, there's this really dark, like lovely almost like indigo type colour on it. And it um just like good it like changes as you go up the scarf. Um I adore this. Tom bought this for me for Christmas last year. Um, and it's my favourite scarf I've ever owned. It goes with so many things because the colour is like, like I mentioned, there's this like purpley bit, but then there's also like cream. It just goes with everything that I wear so well. And it always makes me feel really together and just lovely. And I, I adore it. It's one of my favourite presents I've ever been given. Um, so props to Tom. Question six is what is a type of YouTube video or YouTuber you watch that's not about books? I did two videos I think talking about um, different types of stuff I've watched that isn't bookish um, so if you're interested I can um, link to those in a card or something um, but as I mentioned at the beginning one of the things I've been doing a lot of recently is trying to simplify my house um, trying to make my house feel really calm and gentle and welcoming um, because I spend so much of my life here um, and one of my favourite channels I've just started watching is a channel called Danny Rearranged and it's like Ray Arranged, um, which is just this hilarious woman who is clearing her house of stuff she doesn't need. And every time I watch it, she's like struggling through her own like decisions about whether or not to keep stuff. And I'm like yelling at the screen, like, get rid of it, you don't need it, you don't love it. Um, but she's just doing an amazing job and is like redecorating her house as she goes, she does lots of cleaning videos. If you need any inspiration, that's a fantastic channel to watch. So the final thing is just to tag some people. Um, I don't know why, I don't really tag people and stuff anymore, but what I would say that I'd really be interested in is if you have a channel of your own and you want to do it, please do do it um, and just let me know like in the comments like, oh I might do this, because I'd love to be able to see more of the people who make videos, who watch my stuff that I maybe don't know about. Um, I found that a few times where someone's like messaged me on Instagram, I've gone on their channel and I've been like, oh, they have like a bookish Instagram and YouTube and stuff and I can go watch it. Um, but I don't necessarily know otherwise. So I think that would be really good fun. Um, yeah, so that's a little quick tag video for today. Hopefully you've enjoyed and I'll see you guys again soon in my next video. Bye.